Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. That everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get my gadget set. Okay. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. We're here. Uh, okay. Yes, I know this phone. The reason why I got this one, where's like that now? Nick George, Bolom, Bolom, Batin, Dam, Bolam, I own it. Yeah, but Namle, and I think I can't go on now. Yeah, quite. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, then Damba okay. come and see. Nga Gandali. Oh, oh, but I get your link about Gandali. I think I link Zoom for seven. Eh, no, 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 no. Nijo, Nka Bonka. Nka Bonka. Nka Bonka, you man. Mfon. Mfon, my land dam your part for Bani to me. But for waited. But for waited. Yes, but it. Mm. The other one, but for my gozang. I'm um, for what I'm holding our mobile now. I'm for what I'm for mobile. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Eh? I'm for what I'm for mobile. Eh? <laughs> for what I'm for mobile. For what I'm for mobile. I'm for Chalimba, but Chalimba. Yeah, I'm for mobile. Mobile. Yeah, quite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I love the interior of the Nicking. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, I can go bang and turn in in phone. Yeah, of course. Mm. Got them, them two in Jamaica and, and, and bike in Canton. You know, I got lot to buy in Tonchan Barbo and the Land Rover and they can find my public works. And the end going to hear my, my chat, but uh, my treat, uh, uh, fed, fed ball. You know, yeah, gang, I need to come. Both I see Lamen, Ika Kaman Dame, my Gama Mangoni, Kubanga Chini and Chindam Chati Bible. Ngam Mondip Kabayi, but in Andip for Galega, Eka Kuba, Eka Rubber Yam for Kachima Malungela. Yes, Akawaji, yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. You know, you know, nine, nine phone, my wood and a motor time, Mongo. Okay, and there were a cover shot if I favor. No, on do a on do both from Yatita, 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 Mongo. Yawa, Yawa. Me want to go for my tita. I want it. I like it. I did that. Mungu. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. be. Wow, man. Let's let go. I got government no, the number is growing. It sounds like a drunker. Okay, that's good. Hello to everybody. 
Yeah, Reverend. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Yeah. Hello. We can hear you loud and clear. Hello. Okay. Good evening. And uh, I think the next uh, five or two, three minutes, we can start. So that we can uh, who is know talking? who is participating. We can know who is participating this evening in this um, glorious worship service. And uh, it will be my pleasure. Be my pleasure to know who is talking. I am uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah Reverend, ne Reverend Nehemiah, and uh, the host of this uh, important evening service that the Lord has laid in my heart to convene on behalf or in the memory of uh, in memory of our late mother. So may I just permit, uh, there are about uh, 12 participants already online. I just wish to know who is fellowshipping with us this evening. And so I'm saying, I don't know the different names, but then let me just permit you to greet us and to tell us who you are so that we can start officially. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why don't we do this? Let me see how your participant list. Uh, anyway, the list will vary depending on who is on. Uh, so, uh, I am Nindy Kingsley. Okay. I think everybody knows me. Uh, next on my list. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I want to thank you so much for helping me to uh, fetch the link. It was going to be very difficult from my own side, <laughs> considering the fact that I have a little phone that will not be able to. Uh, so I'm glad that. You welcomed this idea and uh, you assisted in helping me to create, uh, facilitate no, our meeting by creating a link. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Reverend. No, it was a brilliant idea. We had, I think, nothing bigger than this to pray, pray, pray. I believe in the power of prayer. And one day, uh, mm -hmm. We'll be together again. Oh. But let's okay. go ahead. Let's continue with the introductions. And you're welcome, bro. Thank you. Thank you. So can we thank you? Welcome. Can we get the next person on board to greet us? Niben, that's you. Boy. I'm Ben Fokum in Springfield, Illinois. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you and welcome to this wonderful it just it's uh, it's you're welcome to this church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank you, family Father. Church, family church worship service. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Next person. Man. Can we just continue? You know, when you come to the church, it's always a blessing and a privilege to know who are those worshiping with us, probably for the first time. Or after a very long period of absence. So we want to greet ourselves and to recognize ourselves and to welcome ourselves into this worship service. Okay. So now next person. Is your in Chicago. He went back. Uh, let, me, let me continue down the list as I have it here. The, okay. next, per the next person is George. Nate hey, George. Yes, uh, Reverend. Um, my name is George Vanguard in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. It is my pleasure to see you for the first time and to welcome you in church. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the next person is the host, but I'll skip the host and yep. go to uh, Ma Mancho. I'm Mancho. Jeanette Njamfon from Dallas, Texas. It's a pleasure joining you all. Thank you. And I'm happy to worship with you all today. Thank you. For Mama's sake. 
Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Then I think the next one is you, Reverend. I'll skip that. Uh, Rene, that's you, right, Jerem? Yep, yeah, I'm using Rene's phone. Okay. I'm using Rene's phone. Uh, the next person here is Ayariga Josephatia in the UK. Hello. Good afternoon. I am Joseph Ayariga um, uh, in uh, Montgomery, USA, though I use the UK. <laughs> so sorry for that. So No, I, no problem. Yes, yes. I am yeah, that. Yes, yes, yes. So, so okay. it is a privilege for me to be with you guys and to worship with you guys in memory of Grandma. Thank uh, you. Welcome. Know, Yes, it has been a great opportunity to be with her. I've been with her, sat on her lap, and taking pictures over and over. So, okay. Worship with you guys. It's a privilege. All right. Thank you. The volume is low. What should I do? Welcome. Well, I can hear him so well. I don't know. Probably yours. But I, 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 I no, he, he came across loud, loud, bro. Uh, but let's see if uh, let's see if it be, continues to be a problem. The next okay, on the, the, list, the next on the list on my list is Elizabeth. Okay. It's all. It's all. My name is Elizabeth G. I live in Maryland. Okay, that's Miley. I. Yes. It's a pleasure. Having you in church this evening. Good evening. So delighted to be here after a very long time. Welcome. Uh, the next one is yes. says gaming. Gaming is gaming is just that. It's just an audio. Uh, who has the gaming? Do we know? Okay. Well, they'll introduce themselves when they're so true. Next person is Juma. Hello. Juma. Yeah, hello. Okay. Uh, my name is Pulera Adamo Ndi. Uh, I'm happy to be here today. And I hope this worship will go smoothly to the end. And I thank everybody for making it here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the thank next you. one. A wonderful prayer. Yes. The next person is an iPhone. Yes, yeah, it's, it's me. It's me. No. That's Bandy. Bandy. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Then next is uh, Njombo Agnes. Hello, Grandmommy, are you there? And your yeah, video is on. She may not be. All right, okay, she'll come back. Next. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes, I was muted. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm Agnes Njombwa, being so happy that that day has come and we are gathered together to give Mama bye-bye because this is the day she was put to rest. Thank you all for joining 
and let it go smoothly in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, next person is Paul M.M. -M. Hello, everyone. Yeah, my name is Paul Mwengi, one of the awesome. sons of uh, uh, Dr. Hannah D. Yes, sir. Cool. I live out here in cool. Baton Rouge in Louisiana. Thank you all for having me. Oh, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Um, mine is so low. Your volume is still low, eh? I don't, yeah, it's true. I'm seeing you on my thing here. It seems to, I, I, oh, wait. Why are you showing a multiple image video? Okay. Maybe but yours is drowning mine down. Probably. Are we why are we together? Okay, problem D the host. Are you there? Yes, I'm right here. Because we skipped you. Um, if you look at the list, left onto the I eighty four east ramp, then merge onto I eighty four east. It's showing me with the. Uh, oh no no no! It's not me. It's something that is there. Forget. I don't know why it's making a Nick Benson volume low because I, it comes through mm. to me. No, but I can hear. Okay. I can hear Nick King. All right. Let let can hear, I can hear Nibantu very clearly. Uh, then let the Reverend, Reverend take, uh, I think anybody who wanted to speak has spoken. Um, the gaming person will show or not show. And, and but I think you should go ahead with your program, with the program, Reverend. You are muted. That's true. I'm sorry. Uh, you're all welcome to this uh, brief worship service. It is always an opportunity for brothers and sisters or beloved or brethren in Christ to dwell together. And the Bible says uh, we should always come back to Christ and give thanks to him. So I would like us, wherever you're watching, wherever you are, Probably some of you are driving. Yeah. Uh, I'd like us to, if you have your Bibles with you, I suppose you should have your Bibles with you. I would like to read this opening verse for us. Then we pray. I'll be reading from Matthew. Object on road ahead. Uh, Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. May we look to God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity that your children all over the world have gathered at your feet uh, of this, this special very occasion. Uh, remembering the transition of our mother unto glory, which we come back, O oh Lord, as your word says, that in every circumstances, we should come back with thanksgiving. We're coming back, O oh Lord, at your feet tonight, this afternoon, Lord, to thank you for your love, thank you for your grace, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your protection, thank you for preserving our lives even during this very challenging moment where a loved one has departed. We pray that this short and brief worship service will bring glory to you alone and not to any human being. Nobody is going to take glory at the end of this worship service, but that all glory and honor will be given to you in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's get 
our opening hymn, uh, our opening hymn is uh, Amazing Grace. I already sent uh, the list uh, to you. Uh, we'll be singing. I wish I should have been hearing your, your voices. Uh, probably you should sing aloud. If you've muted your, your microphone, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. If you have muted your microphone, please, I wish to plead that you can release it. I'd like to hear us sing together. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Well, sing. Brothers and sisters, our text of meditation during this occasion is drawn officially from the book of John in chapter 14, verse 27. The gospel of St. John, the chapter 14, in verse 27. We shall be hearing one of Jesus' uh, last words to his disciples when he was ascending to heaven. And this is what the Bible says. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. These are the reading of the word of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Eternal King of glory, the one who holds the key to our lives, the one who knows the beginning and the end. Father, during this very solemn worship service, it gives us a very vivid picture of our mother when he was still, she was still alive with us. We can remember the good times we had with her while on earth the teachings that we got from her, the care that she gave humanity, not only to children that she loved, but to everyone. Father, we thank you that you granted her such a huge package of life experience to pass it on to us, the children. And we wouldn't keep ourselves uh, silent without coming back to you, God of mercy, to say thank you for all that which you did through her. We pray that even as we worship you tonight, we'll be thinking of our legacy, we're thinking some of our good words to us and counsel. And even as we 
I'm missing her, oh Lord. It's a year and plus now, Father. We're breaking of glory that we'll be thinking of our own selves on the day that we will leave this world. And our desire, oh Father, is that we should reunite again with her in paradise so that the good experiences we had while on earth, we can keep on enjoying in heaven. Help us and speak to us as we listen to your word. These are not the words of man, but these are your own words. And I pray, Father, that it will have a dwelling place in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, beloved in the Lord, when Jesus Christ was ascending to heaven, he did not build mansion to, to his disciples. He did not build synagogue where his disciples could stay back and enjoy worship. Jesus Christ did not buy luxurious vehicles for his disciples to enjoy it. In fact, Jesus Christ did not give earthly things that could give them pleasure while on earth. The last words of Jesus Christ to his disciples, just like the last words of our parents or our loved ones on earth, are very, very important. Jesus Christ chose to give peace to his disciples when he was ascending to heaven. And I remember that most of the last words of our loved ones, parents, friends, brothers, family members, beloved in the Lord, the, their last messages always ends up with stay at peace. Peace is very important. Peace is very indispensable in life. Peace within and peace around you is very important. We live at a very critical time where the world, politicians are seeking for peace, pastors or clergy are seeking for peace, lawyers are seeking for peace, but they are not seeking in the godly way. And so I'm challenging us tonight that the most precious gift that I can offer to you is to live at peace with you. The most important goal and jewel that I can offer you tonight, or the best message I can preach, I thought of preaching, is that of peace. Because my man left us and Jesus Christ loved his disciples. And when you compare these two people living us, I sure that even if I didn't get my mask on clearly, but I know deep from my heart was that I leave you with peace. And peace is the most important thing that we can achieve on earth. Peace has a lot of enemies. The enemies of peace include hatred, jealousy, backstabbing, backbiting, gossiping, and you can name the rest. But at the same time, Peace equally has a lot of friends and family members. And the family members and friends of peace are listed in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. And they are love, joy, peace himself, long-suffering, patience, kindness, gentleness, meekness, and you can name the rest. The families of peace are so big, bigger than our own family, just like our own family, as big as we are. And so there is no point in time that you can be lacking at one point. We have a lot of resources. We have a lot of people around us that we can run to. At a very challenging moment like this, where the world is boiling up with all sorts of evil, all kinds of... Uh, you know, pandemics, natural, uh, natural calamities or disasters. It is time for us to think back at home. Someone has said, home is home, home sweet home. There is no place like home. Therefore, during this time that we remember our mother, I think that the best gift we can offer her wherever she is at the moment. We believe that, Christians believe that believers don't die, they sleep because their soul live it on. And I'm so convinced at this point that Mama is somewhere probably thinking about us, how life is with us, how are we living? And I'm sure that if she were to appear and see us living together, 
peace and harmony. She will say, that's the best gift I offer to my children, to my family members. And I pray that God is going to grant us peace and peace that can help us. We need peace at all levels. You need peace in your family, in your house, peace with one another, peace with your colleague, and peace as a citizen while here on earth. Therefore, I implore us and charge us that it is very, very important. At a very critical time that we thought that life would not be again good, but here we are, it's one year plus. The Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been gracious. The Lord has been there for you and I. Therefore, there is no need to be afraid. Jesus Christ knew that the de his departure was going to cost his disciples a lot. And so he prepared them that I give you peace. If you have peace, you won't be afraid of anything. You have peace, you will not be troubled. I don't know if anybody is troubled here. The Lord Jesus is here. He is the one who can wipe away our tears. Sometimes we cannot comfort ourselves enough. Sometimes we cannot even advise ourselves enough. It's frozen. Yes, it froze. As a devil at work. Yes, indeed. No, you know, <laughs> the devil will try everything. <sighs> the devil always fails. Yes. So, Reverend will be back. Yeah, he'll be back. The devil is a liar, they say. <sighs> this is not fun. You are, you are muted, Reverend. You are muted. Unmute yourself. Yeah, you can see him. He came back. Eh? Unmute yourself. Thank you very much. Welcome back. And thank you for your patience. No, no problem. Thank you for being there. So we are challenging ourselves as we conclude that life, God is at work. He watches our going out and our coming in. Nothing is going to happen to you. The presence of the Lord is here. He ascended to heaven. He becomes the father to the fatherless. He becomes the husband even to widows. Therefore, we can trust in him. We can count on him. And we can keep on looking on to him. And even as we think about the departure of our mother, let us always understand that God has a wonderful plan for each and every one of us. And his plan is not to destroy us. His plan is not to, 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 to harm us, but his plan is to prosper you. Therefore, in the vacuum that Mama has created, the presence of the Lord is there to guide us, to lead us. Whenever you think of Mama, talk to Jesus Christ. Talk to Jesus Christ. He is there as our Lord and our Savior. And I pray that God will grant you peace. Peace that surpasses all human understanding. Peace that will give you, will cause you to have uh, uh, a calm and a, a sound sleep tonight. Sleeping at the, by your bed, probably dreaming how this worship service was. And that's the best gift I thought I should uh, share with us from God's words tonight and to remind us that Jesus Christ, when he was going up to heaven, he gave us a treasure. And this treasure is peace. We need to value peace. We need to treasure it. And we need to jealously preserve and keep it. It will not come the way politicians seek for it. It will not come the way the, the United Nations peacekeeping force is giving you. But then it's only God that can give you peace of mind. May God bless you at your different corners, in your different endeavors, your different offices and whatever you are doing, that may there be rain of peace that will flow from your head down to your toe and touching all parts. And if it flows from head to toe, then your environment will be a peaceful environment. Your home will be a peaceful environment. Your office will be a peaceful environment. We can live in peace even in this very hostile world because Jesus Christ is the foundation of peace and he is our father and he's our Lord. And Mama is peacefully 
peacefully enjoying the presence of heaven while waiting for us the day that we shall be called to meet her in glory one after another. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, thank, thank you. you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Shall we look to God in prayer? Amen. Yes, absolutely. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, 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 opportunity that you can bring us closer despite distances far off miles away from each other, yet we are talking together this evening. We are sitting together this evening at the master's feet. Father, you have never made a mistake. Our coming together is a divine plan. Man may see it as if it were human effort, but from the day you created us or you formed us in our mother's womb, you knew that today, the 5th of June, or the 4th of June, we shall be sitting together like this to hear you talk to us, whisper your word, help us to understand the depths of your word, communicate it better and clearer to us, O oh Father, so that we can be able to put it into practice, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, your word says, and the songwriter says, Lord, make us instruments of peace. We want to be instruments. We want to be vessels, O oh Lord. We want to be the legs that can carry on peace from one house to another. We want to be the mouth, oh God, that can carry the message of peace to one another. We want to be that vessel, oh Lord, that can carry on peace because Mama offered us peace and desires us to live at peace like Jesus Christ. We pray, King of glory, that you will help us despite the challenges that we go through, that we we'll always come back to understand this treasure. Bless your word and bless each and every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen, Papa. We will get once we'll take one stanza of our <clears throat> hymn. There's a land that is fairer than day. Heaven is beautiful. And uh mommy, probably in heaven, is enjoying the glory of heaven. And if you want to be part of heaven, look at the lyrics of that song and desire to be part of heaven. There's a land that is fairer than day. Are we there? There's a land that is fairer than day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There is a land that is fairer than this. Okay, sing. There is a land that is fairer than this. And by faith, we can see the power of the Lord. Oh, the over the way. Now listen, stanza three of the song is a tribute to Father Above. And so let's sing as if that way that was going to be our own words, like a tribute to our mother in heaven. So stanza three, Mama, can you go ahead and tune again stanza three for us? I don't know the wording, so... <laughs> You are beautiful, Father above. We will all praise for the glorious gifts of His love. 
are the blessings that are in the sweet. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, not long, not long, all our worries, all the challenges that we go through on the earth will be history. Amen. Don't be history. There is nothing on earth that will last forever. All of us are on pilgrim and we are we are on pilgrimage and we are all pilgrims here on earth we will one day leave this world My there is nothing that will last and we will meet on that beautiful show praise the lord Amen. Amen. thank you very much um i don't know i don't know our program we have something is very amazing over 40. Hello. Yeah, Reverend. We are wondering. coming to the end of this worship service. Yeah. And uh, it wouldn't make sense if I don't allow me. one person who wants to share a short testimony to encourage yeah, us. Me. As a matter of fact, what did you do with the money? Give me some. Hello. Okay. Those are not talking mute themselves. Bill, you can meet somebody. Yeah, yeah don't, I'll get to that. So I was saying that if someone has a testimony that will encourage our soul, remember that this is not a meeting. This is a worship service. And uh, we are doing this in remembrance of the good times that we had with our mother while on earth. And we're thinking about her and praying and seeking God's face and appreciating God for being with us even during these hard times or during her absence. So may, if you have um, a short testimony, or a short word of encouragement to all of us in this big church, may I give you the opportunity to say one or two words. Hello. Praise Hi. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to say, Grandma is smiling down at us, looking through the glass and seeing Amen. us and be happy because Amen. she knows that her children and her grandchildren have remembered her and we are praising God, knowing that one day we'll meet with her. Amen. 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 Praise Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. 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 Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Reverend. I want to say Hello. this opportunity to thank you for taking that initiative. From day one, you were there on that photo. Thank you very much. You know what happened. And if you can get that. It's a great thing for the family. Amen. So, it's not just this day. Before coming today, we've had two occasions within the one year that you had okay. your ordination. Took, you, you had your ordination. You had your first baptism. Then you thought of this and you came up with it. I think it's a blessing to the family. Thank you very much. And all what I will say to the family is nothing that that peace that you've preached about. And to be happy with what, whatever I've got myself, everybody should and be peaceful. Have a cold head. Everything will be over. No matter what we do on that year, we have to learn how to forgive each and every one. Nobody will say he or she is perfect. We must have wrong, 
one another in other ways, bad things of all that. With Mama resting, as you brought us today, I think that peace will reign in everybody's mind or home tonight. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you very much. You. And uh, I'm so humbled and uh, blessed. It's my humble privilege that uh, the Lord laid that burden in my heart. And uh, it wasn't just for me. Look at the number of us. We are 23 of us. It's a big church already. And yes. uh, we are glad that God is doing something good. And I believe that it is going to be a turning point for all of us. Well, each time the Lord speaks to us, there is a purpose and there's a reason. So someone, the Bible says today, if you hear God's word, do not harden your heart. You never know when the Lord will visit you because no one knows the day, no one knows the time the Lord will come. His yep. coming can be now or tomorrow. Many of you probably might have forgotten this pigeon song that we used to sing back at home. Today may be your last day, you don't know, brother. Today may be your last day, you don't know. Today can be your last day. We need to make good use of every opportunity. So I pray that God is going to bless all of you. And God is going to continue to touch each and every one of you. That whatever you are doing, you should find prosperity. You should find good health. And that if you have any case in any court, God should be your lawyer and your defender. Amen. And he should vindicate you. To vindicate you. If you are seeking for promotion, may there be promotion in your duty and wherever you are. Always remember that we have a friend and his name is Jesus. And that's our last hymn. Amen. Our last hymn is, there's not a friend like a lowly Jesus. Are we there? No, not one. <laughs> We're going to take the first stanza and the chorus and I'm going to bring the benediction and we'll close down this worship service. Thank you. Yes. That mama again with that beautiful voice. She got a very angelic voice. So I want her to help me. There's not a friend like a lowly Jesus. Mama, can you tune it for us? Did she go away? No. My is still okay. There. Are we there with a the song? There's not a friend like a lowly Jesus. That's our closing hymn. And we're going to take our benediction. There's not a friend like a lowly Jesus. No, 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 Jesus knows all of us our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. So not one, no, not one. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Is on the door. Let us pray. Let us pray. Our gracious heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thank you for your word that has come to remind us of the treasure that you gave your disciples. You did not allow them, but you sent the Holy Spirit to guide us and to comfort us. We hallowed your name. Thank you for this one hour worship service that we have had at your feet. It's a great moment that we have invested in your presence. Father, we know that we are going back, being uplifted in our spirit. We have been encouraged, oh God, we have been strengthened, oh God. Your word says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man should sharpen another. And that's just what we have done this evening. 
Father, for all what Mama did to us, for all her love towards us, for all her care, oh Lord God, for all her hospitality and all her generosity, oh Father, we say glory be to you. And even as we remember her this day, we pray that some of those good virtues, some of those things that she did, oh Father, and impacted our lives, will be able to put it on <laughs> towards one another. Bless us, oh Father, and bless this worship service again. That may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest upon us now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you all. And also with, also you, with, you. with you. Bless you. Amen. 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 Amen, Reverend. Bye-bye. Bye now, Reverend. Thank you very much. Stay blessed and stay strong. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great service. It was a great service. Yes. Okay. Well, Family, friends, thank you, and uh, it was a great honor for Mommy. Well, when is the next service? This one was very sweet. Uh, Ebra. I said, when is the next service? This one was very sweet. No, we'll do it again. We'll, we'll ask Ebra if we can indulge. <laughs> it won't hurt. <won't, laughs> that's true. It's a good fellowship. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, thank you. Indeed, indeed. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, good night from Cameroon. Yes. Good thank night. you, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. All I right. Okay. With our host. Yeah. So we can all say goodbye and. Uh, yeah, we can say our goodbyes and then we'll certainly circle and catch up later. Okay. Okay. Goodbye Another to week. everyone. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mami. Thank you, my dear. Thank, 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 thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, Ben Fokum. Mm. I hear nobody. Uh, mm. Bye. Bye now. Everybody. I'm not. Bye, here. family. Bye. 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 I don't know how to put that off now. Leave me thing. My computer is. Leave me thing. Not a little. Uh... <laughs> put that off. Okay. And can you more your mom cover? All right, uh, I mean, bathroom break, but we're done. So, I go continue. Yeah. Okay, the host is still has us on, but I, I'm going to leave. I'll leave now. Family, friends, we'll see you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye.